Okay, let's start. Uh, drag and drop zero one object to uh, the espresso pool, and we, uh, we can start. Uh, just select the node. This one object is named node. Uh, it has uh, input side. It's uh, marked uh, by blue color, and output side is marked by uh, red color. In case you click on this corner or this one, you will see all settings that we can use, and they are usually almost the same to the settings that object has. Uh, in case we will select the object itself and go uh, to uh, attributes manager, as you can see, it's really almost the same. And uh, what will be important for us at the moment? It's a uh, rotation of the object. Just select the object, and we can try rotate the object, and we will get an information about the rotation. We need to uh, use rotation arrow to p-axis. Just click on the red corner and use coordinates and rotation and rotation p. And we got a first information. In case you want to see uh, the value that we, that we will uh, get, just uh, click, right click to the free space and add new one node. We can show the result by result, result node is placed in express or general and result. And we can connect these two values. And just try to rotate our object. As you can see, it's not, it's not the same value like this. It's a bit different. The why? Maybe ask yourself why is this one value different to this one? Be uh, the reason is pretty simple because Cinema 4D uses internal uses uh, ra radians and not degrees, but we usually see degrees. Just it's really correctly. Just add a new one node. Expresso calculate and degree and radiance to degree, yes, and try it again. So you can see it's the same value. Okay, but we will need we will need uh, st we will still use uh, degrees, uh, not uh, radians, not degrees, of course. Just we can delete. Can delete this one node. Okay, go back and uh, just select this one node and copy and paste the node once more. And we can delete uh, this one f uh, non non used uh, port by double click and select the node itself. This one free free. Uh, uh, an empty node itself and go to Alterius Manager. We can change uh, reference mode. For example, we can say that this one object, the object 0, 1, will be start position and we, wa we want to uh, use a bit different uh, a bit di different object to this one. For example, we want to use piston rod object and get an information about the position of the piston rod object. We want to get uh, the value uh, 64. Maybe you can uh, remember that this one object displays 64 values to the left. Just select the node, go to Attributes Manager, and adjust start position to down and hierarchy. For example, and you can see we got a different object. It's the symmetry object. Hmm. It works pretty nice. And we can use uh, other settings as well. For example, this one. You can see we got piston 1 object. We have a different option as well. We can use uh, relative reference. Just uh, 
back and drop use uh, this original object and change it to relative reference and we can set the uh, we can set a path just click to the path field and we can type d as you can see we got this we uh, wrote down in hierarchy and we got the symmetry object and next and we got the pistonaut object there's no problem it's pretty nice because uh, in case we mm, create a new one copy of this one zero one object we can rename it to zero two for example we will still calculate with the correct object not directly this one this one piston rod one two five dot one for example because you can see you can rename it rename it and open this one express attack and you can see we got correctly object here it's very important for us and I really like I really like uh, this one behavior and this settings of uh, express because if you know how this things works uh, you can uh, be much much faster in uh, express creating of course okay what will be next we must to get we must get the correct position of the piston rod object in that uh, in that direction just use coordinates and we can try position we will see if it uh, will be a bit more complicated just use just sorry once more position position in that direction and we can check the result and you can see it's a bit wrong because you must use this one or this one uh, it's a bit more complicated uh, today because Semaphore D has a uh, freezy transformation feature uh, today just uh, we must always use the correctly correctly settings we will use in this case uh, freezy state of uh, the position just is the reason that we must uh, for uh, is the reason why we will use uh, freezy transformation freezy position and frozen uh, uh, sorry frozen position in the direction yes okay if you uh, still remember we must uh, get the height and epsilon position of uh, the piston just we can uh, we can constrain the piston object itself for x, x position and z position and we can use our well-known tricks uh, well-known trick uh, already just copy this one node we can delete this one port and we can add a new one a new one port in position in x direction and position in z direction and uh, just use relative reference and set p previous and we got the piston object in our node and create new one tag a uh, new one node to the pool and add uh, constant and just connect these parts together As you can see, piston one object is fixed in Z and X direction. It's very very easy. Okay, uh, we must get the first one, first part of uh, epsilon position of the piston object itself, and as we said before we will use uh, trigonometrical function uh, function for 
both of them, but for the first, first part we will use sinus function. Uh, if you are not sure with uh, the correct typing, just use Cinema 4D uh, help and go to this one part, Cinema 4D Prime, go to Appendix and yeah, Formulas and you can see here is almost every, here is everything what you really need. You can see the sinus is, uh, you, the sinus for example use uh, this uh, typing uh, and we will use square exponentiation as well and square root uh, for uh, the Pythagoras sentence. Choose, you can see, you can still use this settings, uh, this uh, typing and you will get the correct, you will get the correct result. Okay, I think that we can continue.